Welcome to this week's Legislative Update. I'm Jim Baumgart, co-host to this uh, wonderful program, and Nanette uh, Bullabush from uh, Elkhart Lake is the other co-host. Welcome. Uh, Good morning. It's, it's a uh, nice day to talk about sure it is. veterans and uh, uh, hunting with uh, heroes, and we're going to do that today. We have two sure. people from Howard's Grove that uh, spent a little time out at uh, um, Wyoming, Wyoming shooting yeah, antelope uh, because they happen to be Veterans. We have uh, with us today uh, Gerald Dobert uh, from Howard's Grove and uh, David Warnke is also from Howard's Grove. Both veterans, both disabled, and because of uh, of a uh, program, you applied and uh, uh, went to uh, hunt uh, for heroes. So, anyway, uh, why don't you ask him a sure. couple of questions? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to do it. Thank you, Jerry and Dave. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for being heroes. You told me earlier you both served in Vietnam, and that makes you qualified for this program. Thank you for your service. So tell us about Hunting for Heroes. We see Dave's hat there. Tell us about it. Well, it's a, a program designed for disabled veterans. Um, they provide you with a guided hunt, uh, antelope in our case, um, feed us really well. Um, put us up, um, room and board, um, and like I said, um, couldn't do enough for us. It was it was almost embarrassing the amount of attention they put on us. So, well, who? Um, go ahead. Well, who, the Hunting for Heroes—that's the name of the program, right? That's the name of the program. And they're Good. in Wyoming. Yes. Are, they're not in Wisconsin yet, no. but you'd maybe like to see that. Yeah. And they're sure. in other states as well. They're in other states, but not necessarily under that name. There, um, it, it, if you go on the internet, you'll see um, disabled veterans hunt around the country. <laughs> the idea is to encourage to help hunters who may not otherwise have the means or ability to go hunting on their own. Yep. So they choose the place. They choose special accommodations if necessary. They provide. They provide it all, huh? Everything. There wasn't anything we needed to. Well, and, and it's in it's in, awesome. in appreciation for being a service person, and of course uh, the disability. Uh, they want to uh, help those that are, would sometimes have a little more difficulty hunting. Although these two have been uh, hunting. Well, we just lost our quilt. Our <laughs> quilt. We'll refer to that in but a minute. That quilt, by the way, is is uh, one of the gifts that you got uh, uh, on your trip to uh, right. there, and uh, each one of you got uh, uh, a, a quilt. Uh, one of them made by a 13-year-old. I think, Gerald, you got one. Dave's was made by oh, you. Yeah. It was my uh, guide's daughter's. Yeah. She made quilts. And we'll show that on the next program. We're going to do one more program after that. Sure. Um, the, uh, 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 where did you go out west? And then we'll find out how you got a chance to apply to a warm Wyoming uh, event that, uh, for yeah. Wisconsin uh, Veterans. This this hunt was was centered in Riverton, Wyoming, and we met there. And then they trucked us to a very very small community called North Portal. All it North is, Portal. North Portal. Or North Portal. And all it is is really a fire station out there. But that's <laughs> that's what they used uh, as a banquet hall. They pulled the trucks out and. Um, now they provided you with hunting licenses. No cost? They provided us with hunting license, no cost. They were donated by um, other hunters. Landowner tags. Landowner, Landowner tags. Yes. And did you have to pay for your own flight out there? We did. Okay. Yeah, the transportation out there and back was, was on us. Everything else was okay. on them. So you had a place, they had a room for you to stay in that was a quality? There's a, there's a oil supply company um, called Stallion that provide house trailers mm -hmm. uh, and these are very plush mm -hmm. house trailers uh, we each had our own bedroom and uh, TV all the comforts of home all the comforts right. of home yeah. <laughs> exactly so you got down there on a Thursday and then on a Friday they took you out and sighted your guns in and or you did or we got in on, on Thursday they provided us a hotel room in Riverton on Thursday um, met us for breakfast Friday morning, um, which they paid for. 
um, took us out to a range, sighted our rifles in, and then took us to this north portal and signed us rooms and mm -hmm. signed us guides. And, and tell us about the hunt. That You both got an antelope, which you would not get in Wisconsin. I know that much, right? <laughs> well, so. not legally anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right? And that must have been incredible. Tell us about it. Well, the guide met us before late in the morning and after breakfast went out. He had been out several days before and scouted around and found some some animals for us and um, there was a large group and he was looking at one antelope and I was looking at the other so when he said shoot and I did and I shot the wrong antelope oh and I have no problem because it was a, it was still a nice animal mm -hmm. um, later in the day Dave went out and shot the one that I was you got his animal. Okay, you <laughs> got yeah, it is. Okay. Was it a, bit, a bigger one? Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, the interesting thing, Nanette, is that um, once they got the animal, the guy got it out for you, or he did. And you know, you guys know how to do that. You wait till deer hunters. <laughs> we, they didn't let you. <laughs> they didn't let us. They, they didn't hardly let us do anything. anything. They, they, they um, cleaned it up. They skinned it out. They cooled it. They hauled it off to a processing plant. They paid for all that. And they cut them up for steaks and hamburger and yes. right. or right. And whatever you burger. wanted. You just yeah. told them what you wanted. And, they and, the, and the head, tell, me, tell us about the head. What happened to that? They, they took the head and they paid to have a European mount, which is just the, 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 the skull, skull and, the, and the horns. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't got it back yet, but I'm not concerned. It's... That it's takes coming. months sometimes. Takes, yeah. They said they're going to have some high school class do all the skinning around it exactly. and right. clean it all up and everything. Yeah, and then they're going to do that, and then they're going to ship them to us. Wow. And there's no cost to that either. Well, you had uh, the, the experience of having an opera, uh, opportunity to have a, they had a separate drawing for uh, an extra tag or something? For mule deer tag. Mule deer tag. The banquet Saturday night, they were going to give away four mule deer tags. Tell us about the banquet first. Um, it was in the, the fire station and there was probably 300 people that came to that. Is that right? They had all these rows of tables set up and stuff and, and had a big dinner and stuff and each person got up and kind of talked about their experience in Vietnam. There were more hunters or than you? There were 12 hunters. 12 of you. Right, they have 12 hunters in each of these different um, areas. And it's not only Vietnam veterans, but it could have been World War II. It could have been there was uh, Afghanistan veterans, there was Iraq veterans there. So it was a, a whole mix of all. Different and they came from all over the country, right? California. They came from um, South Dakota, Nebraska, Wyoming, of course. There was there was one or two from Wyoming. Right. Yeah, so it's, twelve it's, disabled veterans and all the rest. These three hundred people were there to support and thank you, right, and honor you. Right. That's right. Great. One of the really unique things they held a fundraising banquet um, in spring last year with the hopes of raising twelve or fifteen thousand. They raised sixty three thousand huh? dollars. Wow. Um, they had to turn people away because there wasn't enough room. In his armory just for the banquet, for the, just yeah. for the banquet to raise the money. Yeah. Was yeah. it was it an, an emotional experience? That Absolutely. Meal, all those oh, things? Absolutely. Very, very. I was emotional. on an honor yeah. flight with my dad, a World War II veteran, and, and I just sure. yeah. remember how emotional. Well, that was about a year oh, ago, wasn't it? Several, several years, years ago. Several years ago. It's just, and it should be done. We need yeah. to thank the heroes. Oh, yeah. How did how did you guys feel? It 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 was an, it was an emotional evening. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Tears. Absolutely. No yeah. Absolutely. Oh, just the thought of all these people there for the 12 of us is yeah. really yeah. humbling. Well, it's, I think, the least they could do to thank well. you, but, but it's awesome. So, well, I don't want to interrupt Jim. No, no, I was just going to say this was started by a couple of uh, Wyoming hunters that served, uh, yes. one of them uh, in Vietnam and the other, I'm not sure where, but. I think he was in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah. Um, and they came back to uh, Wyoming and they decided that um, not enough r uh, recognition yep. has been given to um, the veterans and they had something to offer and hunting was part of that. 
And so your purpose for being here is because you want to promote it. You would like to see, for, you want people to know that there's an existing program in Wyoming they can apply for, correct? Correct. Right. Well, they do too, right? Yep. The Wyoming people want you to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, exactly. I have discussed the, the fact that uh, we were going to do a, a news article in, in the Chronicle and the mm -hmm. paper and this TV show, and they said, by all means, and whatever, however many you can get. Um, so how do people apply? The easiest is, and, and is to contact Dave or I, okay. and we will put them in touch with... And we're going to have their phone numbers on this show. Well, well and, and, and uh, uh, one of them is going to uh, mention who they should call, and, and that will go on the screen. Uh, sure. And sure. so uh, maybe, Gerald, uh, you want to be the initial contact, or Dave? Doesn't matter. Either, either, either one of us. We both have both the, the contact names out there. Right. And um, well, what's your telephone number? Uh, I'm Gerald? at uh, area code nine two zero five six five four seven seven three. And it's Gerald Dobert. 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 Close Dabert. enough. <laughs> and and Dave uh, Warnke. And your telephone number is area code nine two zero nine one eight two five one three. So if somebody is interested, they're a veteran that has 50% or more um, uh, disability, sure. uh, they could call you and talk to you. And, and if, Absolutely. It's, if it's interesting to them, uh, you can meet with them and tell them how to get the application form. And Absolutely. How it, and because spring, uh, January and February is the time that they have to start applying, don't they? Well, or the um, later? we put our names out there in January or February. Yeah. But we didn't hear back from them until probably July or August. Okay. They have to wait until they know how many landowner tags they got, and the drawing for tags isn't until um, early summer, midsummer. Okay. okay. So. But that you would tell a person who calls. Yeah. Once once they say okay, we have a tag for you, then it seems like a short period of time between then and the time the season opens, or, and the hunt is, but. Um, they keep you moving right along, and it's amazing that they can do all this paperwork, yeah. coordinating with the state and everybody in that yeah. short of time. But and you, you'll that. help them through that process. Absolutely. Yeah. But you guys shot your antelope on opening day. Yes, sir. That left you Sunday. What yeah. did you guys do to twiddle your thumbs <laughs> in the motel room or what? They had different things you could do. Some guys went fishing, walleye okay. fishing. Um, Jerry and I went with our guides and we went to did a little prairie dog shooting. That big they, prairie dog village is out there, don't they? they? Do. And they had some trap shooting competitions set up for guys that wanted to do that. So they, had a lot of, they had a lot of things for you to do to oh, yeah. keep oh, active. Right. Yeah. And then when uh, you left was about when on Sunday evening, Monday morning? We we left there on Sunday afternoon, late afternoon. Okay. I have a friend that lives nearby and we spent Sunday night with him and Monday with him also yeah. and then flew back here on Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, Dave and Gerald, we have to end the program. Yeah, Nanette, it always go, goes These fast. go so quickly. <laughs> um, so if anybody's out there that's a, a veteran of any uh, era and you have a disability of 50% or more, uh, please uh, get in contact with Dave and, uh, and or Gerald and find out if it's something that fits your schedule and your interest uh, and give them a call. And I want to thank uh, the viewers for coming aboard and learning about hunting with heroes. And uh, thank everybody for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Till great, next week. What a great program. Till next week, this has been Legislative Update. Thank you.